My normal day starts here in Vismara, my second home. Uh, yeah, we practice here almost every day. So yeah, I start my day here. The way how I came here is uh, pretty long. Uh, I started football when I was about five years old. Um, I started with my brother, so I played first with boys. Uh, I think like around four or five years. Uh, I was always there in my brother's training, uh, watching it and I wanted to go with and um, that's how I started. Uh, after playing with the boys, I started to play with girls in Finland. Um, after high school, um, I went to play to Denmark. I played in Denmark two and a half years. Uh, after that, I got the chance to go to play to Bresta. So I came to Italy. I played in Bresta one year. And then uh, after uh, Brescia, I started to play here. My first training uh, when I was about five, six years old, I don't actually remember that. But uh, I remember the time I was like, super excited with football. I always had a ball with me and uh, yeah, I couldn't go anywhere with the ball. My mom always tells that I was even sleeping with the ball. So I have been always uh, in love with this uh, sport. Playing in Milan, uh, it's uh, like a dream came true. We always start the training like this. Uh, Maurizio started from the day one and uh, I think it brings all us together and uh, yeah, we have the feeling to really start to start the day and uh, start to reach our goals. So I think uh, it's a perfect way to start the training. And uh, yeah, we do it together. Smile and fire. <laughs> Uno, due, tre! Milan! Senza uscita, non guardate i segnalatori, senza uscita. Dai, 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 dai. Buono. Ok, recupera. Questo è. Pronti? It's a good idea. Yeah, we just finished the practice. Uh, today was mostly tactical, uh, tactical practice. Today we did uh, offensive part, and tomorrow we're gonna do more defensive. And uh, yeah, just getting ready to the next game. We have so many different cultures, and uh, yeah, also Italians are still learning English. <laughs> we actually have the curse. Uh, the Italians has English curse. Uh, once or twice a week and we have Italian so also uh, yeah for us it's also good we we want to learn the language and uh, yeah learn also the culture here and uh, yeah and this year actually uh, I have played uh, in many roles uh, as right back left back midfielder winger and uh, yeah I don't know actually it was last year um, Carolina uh, put me as a right back and that was the first time ever I played as a defender. I remember it was the we were in a training camp and after two days she actually came to me and said that uh, I think you are a defender, we're gonna make you as a defender and uh, I was like okay I have never been a defender before so you have to teach me all and that's yeah so I, I played as a right back last season uh, this season I have been made, yeah, mostly uh, in yeah, more up uh, midfielder and I, I was used to be as a midfielder so that's yeah, my role but I also like a defender and now actually in the national team also it was funny because um, <laughs> our coach was like no way that you are a defender, no way that you are a right back and then she came to watch the games and she was like okay yeah actually you can be a right back and uh, and also that's why I now I'm mostly playing also in the national team as right back. So my first goal uh, with Milan, uh, they actually say that it wasn't the goal. We played against Florencia and uh, it touched to some defender, but uh, it was my first goal. Anyway, they put it as a um, own goal. Uh, but yeah, I remember that I I just yeah I just dribbled the ball and. Uh, I saw that the goalkeeper was a little out, uh, so I tried to shoot and it went to the goal and we won 1-0, so that's the most important. 
and yeah, that was a nice moment. Usually after the practice, uh, we have all the possibility to go to eat uh, next to Bismara in one restaurant. Uh, and yeah, usually I do that with the teammates. It's also one way to stay together and get to know each other. But uh, also sometimes I like to go home, make my own food and uh, yeah, make something, something more typical Finnish and uh, yeah. This is very traditional uh, from Finland. We, it's, a, it's Karjalan piirakka, it's like Karjalan spy. This is egg butter and you put it on top of this. And then, uh, yeah, after you eat it with hands, so that's okay. Bon appetito! Hyvää ruoka halua! Try it. <laughs> Perfect! Usually, actually, whenever I go to my grandmother's house, she has always this, and you can eat it as a breakfast. Uh, usually, we have it if we make it make brunch. If we go to eat brunch, every brunch place has it. You can eat it as a snack, and uh, yeah, evening snack or whatever. But I think uh, almost every Finnish house has this uh, at their place. And. Uh, Eating culture uh, is different. Uh, we eat uh, dinner way like earlier than Italians. Usually Italians goes to, I don't know, 8, 9, 10. Sometimes we have started the dinner at 11. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we in Finland usually eat at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Uh, every time I tell our Christmas dinner, we start at 4 o'clock and all the Italians are like, wow, how is it possible? <laughs> Um, yes, so uh, we usually eat uh, lunch a little bit before and that's why also maybe we eat the dinner before. We have a little snack in between and uh, then in the evening before we go to sleep we eat a little snack like this or usually dark bread also. That's really, uh, really typical from uh, Finland. Helsinki of course because I'm from there. <laughs> and no, but Helsinki is nice in the summer mostly. Then of course Lapland, uh, it's a beautiful place. So I would for sure say to everyone to go there. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Finnish culture, I don't know, always uh, all the teammates say that I'm cold. <laughs> so maybe that's true, but I don't know. I actually don't think that I'm that cold. But anyway, they say that people up north are more cold. Yeah, I think Italians are maybe a little bit more open. No, actually, this is funny. When I came to Italy, yeah, that's actually, you can see that people up north are a little bit cold because I was in the hotel living in like two weeks and there was one family they didn't speak any uh, English or anything but they were talking Italian to me and I didn't understand anything <laughs> and they were like the first time I met them they came to kiss me and everything and I was like oh okay wow because in Finland we usually like handshake or something we are really organized Italians no <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, usually if we say a time, like today, you say at 9.45, I was there 9.30. So we are usually early, not late. Of course, I miss my family and my friends back home. Um, I'm actually lucky because we have a national team camp kind of often, so I get the chance to go to home. And also my family is coming here to visit, so we see each other like usually one month, uh, two months, uh, yeah, maximum. And uh, yeah, the only one who I miss uh, the most is my grandmother because, of course, she's, she can travel here. So, like uh, with her, uh, we don't see so often and we are actually really close. <laughs> How was uh, I when I was a kid? Um, I have always been really social, talking a lot, uh, a lot of energy, active. I like to do different sports, uh, play football. As I said before, always I had my ball with me and I was always playing with friends and uh, with my, I have one brother and two sisters, so also with all of them. Milano as a city, uh, I like it. I live uh, near or close to Navilli, so I think, uh, yeah, it's a nice area and uh, I'm studying fully online, so I have the lectures uh, are coming online, so usually after the training I try to watch the lectures and then uh, I then I have more, maybe more time in the evening. Uh, usually I like to relax or be with the friends or yeah, nothing really special and 
Maybe the first word, of course, ciao, come stai, bene. I got all the bad words, yeah, okay. It's, 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 um, <clears throat> no, but that's the truth. <laughs> and my favorite, va bene, allora. <laughs> and uh, after, um, yeah, everyone are laughing because I'm saying aperitivo. I don't know, I think it's correct, but they laugh. And uh, also ancora, they always laugh. <laughs> I think I'm good, but maybe not. In the game, maybe <clears throat> solo, uomo, those were the first ones. And uh, yeah, tira, tiri, passa. I don't know. No, I can say the one of the most uh, longest word, okay? This is one word, okay? Lentokone, suihka, turbiini, moottori, apumekaanikko, aliukseri, oppilas. Uh, it's like airplane mechanic training. Uh, yeah, in the afternoon, uh, after lunch, I actually uh, start to study. Um, I study online. Uh, it's uh, sport management and business, uh, like specialization with sport management. And uh, yeah, I choose to start to study that uh, because, of course, sport is my passion. And uh, I think I want to uh, work something with sport after. Uh, after my career, I actually don't know exactly what I want to do, but I think something with sport, I would like to help some young athletes, like uh, mostly maybe girls and women, to achieve something big like I have achieved and maybe even bigger. And uh, I decided to choose this one because, yes, it's with sport and uh, and also because I can do it everything online, so it's perfect. Like yesterday, I did my exam in Mismara at 8 o'clock, and uh, it was finished at 10 10, and we had a video meeting at 10 15, so I could make it. Um, and yeah, all, are, all is coming um, online, all the lectures, so it's perfect. When I come after practice home, I can watch the lectures and I can make, I, I can study and then relax the evening. So I think this program fits perfectly uh, with football. Um, yeah, like my dream after football. That's actually hard because I have, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it uh, a lot. Like, what would I want to do? Because every time I'm like, all, all my life, I'm like, I want to play football, I want to play football, I want to play as a professional, and now I'm playing as a professional, and I have to also start to think what I do after my career. And that's why I started to read sports because I don't have a specific uh, one what I want to do, but. Uh, if I think about it, I think like, uh, yeah, something w to help athletes. Uh, we have one association in uh, Finland called Urha, which helps athletes. So, for example, that would be my dream work, uh, to work there and, uh, yeah, help all the athletes. Or, yeah, of course, like big club, like, for example, Milan, or that would be also a dream job to do. Yeah, like uh, in the future, of course. Uh, Besides the words, I want to have a family, I want to have a kids and uh, live a happy life together. <laughs> this is so <laughs> sad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In my castle. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ole! <laughs>